Production Possibilities Frontier Part 4, Good Terms of Trade and Consumption Possibilities. Remember from our previous discussion, we had a production possibilities curve for country B look like this and the one for country A looking like this. We know that A has a comparative advantage in cars and should produce all the cars, and country B has the comparative advantage in trucks, and it should produce all the trucks. Now what we're going to do is trade away one car for two trucks. So that's the terms of trade, one car for two trucks. So if country A trades away one car, it would get two trucks. If it traded away an additional car, it would get an additional two more trucks. If it traded away an additional car, it would get an additional two more trucks. And finally, if it traded away all of its cars, it would get eight trucks. If I connected these dots, this would be the consumption possibility for country A. Country A is better off by this trade. Let's look at country B. In country B, if they traded away two trucks, they would get one car. Notice that point is outside its own production capability. If it traded away two more trucks, it would get an additional car. If it traded away two more trucks, it would get an additional car. And finally, if it traded away in the two more trucks, it would get an additional car. And so I'm going to go ahead and connect this. And if I connected these dots, I'd get a line outside its own production capabilities, which is this country's consumption possibilities curve. Both countries are better off through specialization and trade.